This has been also a wonderful uh, kind of outcome of the uh, glorious uh, way that I had the chance to grow up uh, here in the Shenandoah Valley. And so, now having titillated you with all that, it seems like maybe we should have a song. So what do you know? <laughs> and yes, you can see this is the very same guitar with the very same double helix on the fretboard. And of course, every guitar has to have a name. B.B. King has Lucille, so I had to have some sort of a name for the guitar. And I actually had a contest amongst the people who worked on the Genome Project about what should we name uh, this guitar, and lots of entries were provided. And it turned out that one particular suggestion appeared over and over again and made the most perfect sense. So, this guitar is Rosalind. <laughs> and of course, there has a little as you like it connection there, but actually, it's a different Rosalind. So, those of you who know the story of the double helix and its discovery by Watson and Crick will know that Watson and Crick were theoreticians. And in order to come up with the right answer, they had to look at somebody else's data. It was Rosalind Franklin who took that amazing x-ray picture that revealed the double helical structure that they figured out and put together their model. Rosalind Franklin sadly died of ovarian cancer only a few years later before the Nobel Prize could be awarded. So the prize went to Watson, Crick, and Wilkins, and many of us wish that it had gone also to Franklin. And so this is Rosalind. So I'm going to sing a little song, and then we're going to wrap this up with a few questions if you still have the energy for that. But uh, I need a little help on this song, because I've got a little bit of a cold. And at one point in here, uh, there's a high C sharp. I mean a high C sharp. And I'm going to need a little help on that. And you will say, well, wait a minute. How are we supposed to help with a high C sharp? You'll know this when it comes. You'll just feel it. <laughs> and I'm counting on you to do the right thing and join in and help me out so that if I screech really badly, it won't be quite as awful. So what is this song about? Well, it's a song about personalized medicine, of course. <laughs> what else? So this is a song that you might imagine being written by somebody maybe two or three years from now who just got his complete genome sequence determined, decided it was time, and uh, sent in his money, and uh, you know, back comes the password saying, okay, it's ready, have a look. And uh, so he's sitting in front of his computer, looking at screen after screen of A's, C's, G's, and T's, going, what the heck is that? And this might be the song he would sing. As I walk along the bases in all three billion places upon my computer screen, am I built for strong endurance or loss of life insurance? Am I a mere machine? walking through the genes don't know what all this means oh what can the meaning be behind that GNT and I wonder help me now I wonder, why, why, wonder why help why 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 you've got an A I've got a C there what does that say Amazing DNA, a T D T T DNA. So I'm glad to know I've got some of what Crick and Watson found and brought them fame. JMU, you found Alliance between art and science, they're really much the same. I'm a walking through the genes, don't know what all this means. Oh, what can the meaning be behind that GNT? And I wonder, come on now, I wonder, why, 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 why,
got a G there. What does that say? Amazing DNA. A D D D D DNA. A D D D D DNA. A D D D D DNA. Thank you so much.